Well, there's Dozer. It is a beautiful morning here in Mississippi. And we gotta get ready for the morning hustle, get everybody taken care of. And I gotta make a food run. Come on, Doze. Let's work. Come on, let's work. Look at them all. I'm wondering where I'm at. I slept a little bit late. I do apologize, everybody. I just need a little rest. Look at them. <laughs> there comes Woody. There's Woody. There's Catitude. We call her Catitude. And as you know, that's Cookie making noise. I think Cookie's gonna be the first one I see. We got Angel, uh, Angel's inside with, with Jean. So we let her inside for a little while. And we got all these guys to deal with this morning. So, just space y'all right here for a minute. And, um, I'm coming, Cookie. Yeah, I'll let y'all see Cookie while I take care of her. Say good morning. Can you tell him good morning? Say good morning. Got one of my golden hens out. That's golden right there. Hey, come on. Come on. That's how you like it? Okay, that's how she likes it. Okay, so that's cookie. Look at the size of cookie, y'all. If y'all been following us along since we got them, she's putting some weight on. She's getting ready. Come December, she will be uh, ready to uh, pop some babies out. Well, not in December, but you know what I mean. It'll be a few months after December, she'll pop some babies out. Because uh, of just tasting period, you know. I'm coming. I see y'all. Look. 
<sighs> Look at them. All they want is me to bring food. So let's get them some food. I'm coming. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. So guys, some of these hens are, was a juvenile a few months ago, and if you notice, they're getting bigger. Some of the older hens are molting a little bit, and they kind of, it was, it was real hot this summer, so they had a, a really hard time. So we're blessed that they all got through it. Uh, we didn't lose any because of heat, so we did lose a couple because of old age. They was, you know, four years plus, so, but everybody's looking good. So I got to get in here and go get this chicken and uh, get the water. They're following me around right now.
I don't know if y'all seen that. Greta tried to jerk my arm off. She, she got tangled up in the bucket. Trying not to hurt her. I'm like, get off the bucket. So they're they're just wild swarm. I gotta go make enough food, bro. I'm gonna get some more. y'all come down I gave you enough for everybody Lovely. Alright, so there I got fresh water. So this this is the crazy part of it. <laughs> that's uh I don't, I don't remember his name, but that's one of the babies in there. I haven't been like home a lot, so been pretty terrible the time I've been going. Um, so anyway, now we gotta go feed Cookie, well no, we fed Cookie, now we gotta go feed Peanut, Simon Sullivan, and Little Buck, that's who we gotta go feed next, so, Dozer, 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 So, um, I had to go jump in the truck and go down the road because he developed a habit now of running down by one of our neighbors. Nina! Nina! 
he's developed a habit of going by one of the neighbors. And um, we don't want him doing that. We want him to stay here. And I don't know. Since I started, I have to leave a lot. Because when I had my own company, I could make my own hours. And I was, you know, doing my own thing. Anyway. Now, I don't know if because I'm not here working with him. But he decides to go under the gate and run down the road. And I just don't trust him being out there in that road with people. Come on. I'm coming, Peanut. Peanut, I heard you get moving. So my, my wife was, uh, yesterday she was sitting here with him and playing with him. And he bit her on the back and then grabbed her by the hair, <laughs> pulling her by the hair. So, yeah, he's getting, he's rough. I'm coming. So guys, it's a lot of walking back and forth with these animals and getting feed for them. And it's a lot of work. Not just, you know, they're not just cute, but there's a lot of work to it. Come on, let me in. Come on, Peter, let me in. Here we go. <laughs> you didn't give me a chance to get in and close the bucket up. Come on.
Guys, can I just say, I don't know how my wife does it every morning without me. But it ain't easy. Can I just say that? It's not easy. Because they are all like big and strong and jumping all over you and wanting their food. And I'm going to take y'all in here. We're going to go give them fresh water. Come on, buddy. He truthfully thinks he's some kind of pet now hey quit chewing on the camera come on hey I don't know if y'all can see him he's trying to chew look he's trying to chew on the camera I can't let the hammer go hey peanut dog come on come on come on come on hey come on look come on I got some grain over here for you hey hey come on come on peanut So that's Peanut. Peanut, the pig dog. We got him fed. Um, the goats got hay over here. They got some sweet feed in the trough. And look, they still. They still think I got something to bucket for them, which I don't. There's nothing in there. But anyway. Alright, so we got to finish our, our morning hustle here. So, alright. Little Buck, what do you want? Y'all stink. Whew, do it stink, man. They get in that crazy rut process and they start stinking bad. Really bad. Come on. So I, I've been joking with my wife. I said, no. You're probably making better videos than I do now because I'm all over the place. And she's pretty much got this down packed. She's been doing it every morning. <laughs> the last few months and um so but we'll have to collect some eggs in a little bit so everybody's looking happy I hope There you go, that's real guys. Real life. Real as it gets. The camera falls off. Goat. Knock it over. So hey there's Angel. So uh, the tripod. Thank you, Mitigi. I gotta fix it. It loosened up. So always something. So there's not all the cats, but a bunch of cats that we're, we're feeding. And um, I told, you know, we're just letting everybody know that we're, uh, we're not rescuing anything else right now. We can't, just can't do it. You know, our chickens give us eggs and the goats. You know, they, they bring us milk and and all this other stuff and babies to sell. So the pigs the pigs gonna be set up to, to 
to bore, uh, you know, the boar and, and the sow would be set up to, to give us babies, piglets, you know, to sell. Um, I got to start making it where I can do something on here because, uh, you know. Let's just put it this way, the feed ain't getting any cheaper. Anyway. Alright, so there's that. What else do I have to do? What are you doing? They just wild swarm. Oh, we gotta go get some more feed, as you can see. It is. Dozer. You gotta quit going down there, buddy. So, well, guys, we're gonna go ahead and cut this one off and just leave y'all with some the chickens eating here, the goats eating. And, um, it's Saturday morning, it's the weekend. Quiet, still. Sun's. Sun and bright, beautiful skies. No rain to forecast for a couple days, which we need more rain. Can't plant no seed or nothing. Still, it's not gonna, it's not gonna do nothing. So, Molly, quit being so mean, huh? So I hope everybody likes our content. Give us a thumbs up. Um, we need more subscribers. If you, if anybody wants to subscribe, it's free. It's no no hassle. You just get notifications when we make a new video. And um, so my wife did. Oh, uh, the Croctober thing's over with. Jane, is that Croctober thing's over with? No. So y'all check out. Uh, the whole month of October is a, uh, October 23 is a, a, what is it, 60 channels? Huh? Is it 60? Huh? 60 channels are, are new recipes on how to cook in, in a crock pot, slow cooker, whatever you want to call it. So y'all check that out. And, uh, Dozer, come here. I'm mad at you. Come here. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. I had to jump in the truck and go get him. Uh -huh. He was bunting down there. So, I know. I know he's bad. But it's because I'm not here a lot. He's done figured out. Well, Dad ain't home. But. Yeah. I turned my back on for like two seconds. I literally just jumped in the truck, let the camera run. I knew right he was right by the dumpster. I'm glad you got to see it that way. I, I, okay, I got to see it. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> Guys, it's this you know, it's all real. It, it, none of it's fake. And that's what, you know, I tell people all the time, what you see us doing, it's real. It's real poop on the ground, it's real eggs, it's everything's real. You know, dropping a camera's real. Um, we just try to bring y'all real life, reality of it all. And, um, you know, the reality is it's a lot of work. She's over there shoveling poop right now. <laughs> I usually get dressed before I come out here, but I was enjoying Well, it. I'm not trying to put you in a film. I know you're not. Um, so I, I love Saturday mornings. At least I get off. I get to hang around here and, and um, 
hang out with her and, and um, we get to hang out with our babies for a little while. And, uh, you know, we just get to uh, enjoy what uh, what God gave us and our, and, and our little farm and our little property. Um, you know, just to be blessed by God, by just, you know, having this stuff, you got to love it. You got to look at it in a way that you can't think about how much it's costing you. You can't think about how much food is going out into it. You got to love it. You got to love it. You know? I'm going to have to move this bucket back. It gets too hot there. Okay, I'll move it. I'll go move it. Um, all right, so guys, we, we appreciate you watching our video. Remember to Croctober. What's coming up in November? Noodle November. So there will be a, I guess you could call it a series in November. It's called Noodle November. The crab relation. Uh, Gene will have more information on that. I'm just throwing it out there. So remember our live uh, Tuesday night at 7 p.m. And that is Mississippi time. Central Standard. I say Mississippi time. I think it's funny. <laughs> I, yeah, you know. Anyway, I try to be a little bit hilarious. But anyway, Mississippi time. Central Standard time. 7 p.m. Our live is Tuesday night. We'll be on there talking about know what. I don't know what we're going to be talking about. We just talk. And everybody has a good time. A lot of people come in the chat. And it's, we just chat back and forth. A lot of love on there. A lot of good friends. A lot of, a lot of beautiful people to meet. And um, I mean, there's everything from, from farmers, real farmers. Not like us, but big farmers. To people that just cook. So any questions you have, you can come on there and you ask. I'm pretty sure somebody can help you out with whatever you got going on. So... Well, guys, this is uh, One Day at a Time Farmstead. This is our little chaotic, you know, morning hustle. Um, it was a little bit worse this morning because I had to run and get dozer down the road. <laughs> so, anyway, um, we hope you all have a blessed weekend, a blessed week coming. And uh, we'll probably uh, devotional tomorrow, huh? Devotional tomorrow? So, we have a, uh, Jean has a devotional tomorrow um, every Sunday. Um, look for her devotional. It's really cool. Uh, the Holy Spirit leads her in a, a devotional um, and it speaks to her heart and she speaks from her heart. So that will be every Sunday she's doing it. And um, I'm really, uh, I really like it. it. It comes out good, you know, and, and anytime God speaks for you, just say what you got to say. And, um, and then sometimes you got to hold what you got to say too, because it's not for everybody. It's for you to know. So word of wisdom. Know when you hold your tongue, and I'm, I'm, I'm saying that because I had to learn that last few years. I've been getting better, you know, even at work and around certain people. I just got to hold my tongue, and I got to, you know, I got to, I got to pray. I got to pray that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Um, uh, that's a good one. That's a good one. And um, so I remind people that pray that, and uh, they, they, they can't come against you. They can't prosper because that war has been won. Jesus done stomped on that head of that snake and cut it off for us. So all we got to do is accept him. We got to roll with him. We got to st stay in the word and write them, write them scriptures in our heart. And um, so guys, we, we love our channel. We love y'all. We thank y'all for watching. We thank y'all for, for sharing it out. And we definitely thank y'all for subscribing. One day at a time. My wife's over there doing all my work this morning. I better get busy. Um, it's kind of hard, hard holding the phone, but I did want to reach out to everybody and say, hey, I'm still here. I'm still kicking and we're still doing good. So enjoy the beautiful sunshine today. Y'all have a good one. Well, I just made the, uh, I guess you could say feed run for them, the food run for everybody. So we got, we got two chickens. We got one sweet feed and two, um. Two biggie, two piggy, piggy, piggy. <laughs> I'm tongue tied. We got two pigs. No. So these are 50 pound sacks. Um, so, um, and this is a, a kind of a new company that came here. They're more local. Um, so we've been trying them out. It's some different stuff. 
It seems to be, they seem to love it though. So, yeah, this is the hog feed right here. So, it's actually manufactured in Kentwood, Co op, KC, um, in Kentwood, Louisiana. So, um, it's not too far from us. So, it seems like it's more variable to us. Um, and they're giving us a pretty good deal on these, on these sacks. So I'll have to look at the receipt. Um, so they're giving us a pretty good deal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to empty the cans out. I'm going to try to clean the cans up. Make sure there's no... I'm going to uh, make sure there's no mold or nothing. Because you always want to make sure your cans are good and clean and dry before you... Cookie! I fed you already, girl! So... Those are... So we're gonna empty all this out and uh, make sure it's all good and clean. So um, we just want to show y'all the rest of the Saturday morning. And this will uh, just connects with the um, other morning. You know, early this morning when we was here, girl, what is going on for you? She'll eat 24/7. Come here. You want to be pet? You want petting? Come here. You want some petting? Oh, uh, that's what you want, huh? Mama done gave you a treat and your eggs and stuff. Look at that. She wants a pet. Spall rod. Girl, you're not no puppy dog. <laughs> so anyway. It's one day at a time again. We're doing a... Uh, we did the feed run. Now we're going to get the feed ready for the week. Well, a couple weeks, hopefully. Um, so, Marley. Marley. Man, they get, she's something else. I love her, but she can be she can be pretty mean. If she wants to be. Of course, that's the goat language, goat world. If you have goats, you know what I'm talking about. They got their own world. Huh. You got your own world, huh? You talk your own way, huh? I don't know what y'all want. I gave you fresh hay. Look, you got fresh hay. What, are, what else y'all want? Fresh water? So... Girl, you a spoil rotten, you know that? So anyway, guys, please like and subscribe to our channel, share it out, and um, we're going to get this food done and, and uh, see what else we got to do today and try to, uh, try to just help out before I go back to work Monday. <laughs>